Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Scott the Waz trading cards uh, unboxing. Now, I literally just got these for Christmas morning. I, I literally told my dad like, hey, these would be great stocking stuffers. And they were stocking stuffers. So that's great. So yes, I did open one because I was excited because I thought it was so cool. And they are really cool. Um, and I'm also not gonna open one of these just because I really want at least for now, I want one that's just in, like, nice condition, and I know that's kind of like, well, what if the super rare is in it, and it's like, yep. <laughs> so, I might open one later, because I actually got a lot of Scott the Waz stuff, but unfortunately, uh, they haven't arrived yet, which is kind of lame, because I'm pretty sure other people have already received them, but what are you going to do? So, we have three packs to open. <laughs> oh, no, four. Wait, did I count this right? Oh, right, because I got six. I keep thinking I got five. But, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, for, let, let's just, do. this is, like, so awesome. Like, obviously, I'm a Scott the Waz fan. I think it's really cool how he makes, like, actually interesting video game stuff, but also does all the comedy things. The Mario Party episode is my favorite. Um, and you got the artwork, and it's got all these, like, scenes from everything. Back, got the Pixel Empire and Scott the Waz. They're collectibles, guys. See, it still counts. Um, and it's really cool that it says, like, it talks about how there's 51 cards, and uh, you can uh, scan the QR code, and you get a video. I scanned the ones for these, and they're already pretty cool. And it's just, that's so awesome. I made a playlist um, that I'm obviously not going to make public, but I made a pale playlist of just every video I get so I'll like just have them to watch whenever I get to them but yeah it's so cool this is just a really cool idea like I love this concept uh but yeah one interesting thing though is that the reason why I want to keep one in nice condition is because look series one first edition now if you know these sold out but he's making a second one, but you know what that means. It's gonna be a, those are all gonna be second edition cards. Um, so that's kind of something to think about, honestly, because, um, because you know, if you're actually gonna trade these, there's probably gonna be people like, even if you guys have a card that you wanna trade because you just don't have the one each other has, but what if one has a first edition? You might wanna, might have to trade like two second editions in order to get it. Now, I only have like a, like I said, I have four, I have four packs to open. I'm keeping this one safe, but I might open it eventually. I just really like the look of having a complete thing. That's mainly why, but I might open it at some point, like maybe later on. It's like they aren't like rare or anything, and I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, but obviously I'm not going to get all the cards in this one run. That's just not going to happen. But who knows? Maybe if I get like, maybe I'll, I'll get a bunch of second editions and then maybe I'll have like a ton of duplicates. It might be worth trading a series one card for, you know, something like that. But, uh, let, let's not hope for duplicates. These are, they're all going to be crazy and awesome. So before we get into the new stuff, let's look, take a look at the ones I already got. And uh, I, I love the look. It's so cool. Blue is my favorite color. And so, I mean, I already looked at these, but we got the sticker collection. I think I'm doing these in opposite order, but you got like a stickers of all the stickers from like events and uh, oh, sh sorry for the technical difficulties. I kind of forgot the whole aspect of not showing the QR code. <laughs> um, that makes this a bit difficult, but uh, we'll we'll fix it. There might be a giant bar on screen because I'm probably not going to spend that much time editing this, but you know. Um, but yeah, look again, first edition. So if even if you get, you got to make sure. It's like I like it because I like having first edition cards, but it's also like, dang, am I really going to get a full collection? And then it's just like a bunch of them are like second editions, and it's like. Probably. I mean, it's like, it's the card that matters, but you know, the, the collector in me wants the the best versions, even though it's not really that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to do that just to make sure I cover it. Um, Scott the Waz game collecting. So, you got a blurb that says, look at me. Do I look like I don't do this? And it's, uh, 
One thing, I'll point out something interesting I found earlier. And look, it's got the artist, which is really nice. Um, I would love to make a Scott the Waz card someday. I did make an art submission for the, the big book. And I'm even getting the thing that it comes with. But I'm pretty sure I did it like as soon as the deadline happened. And I never got an email saying they would put it in. So yeah, it probably didn't happen. But uh, oh well. Um... Still really cool though. I like how it's like Game Boy, but like not really. <laughs> like it's all like close, but not in always. And one thing I found cool is that well, I'll I'll get into that after I guess, even though I might forget. Uh, okay, we I, uh, don't don't look at it. <laughs> party harder. I'm so glad I got this card because I love the Mario Party ones. I hope there's like a regular Party Hard because I kind of like the original more, but they're both they're both great. Uh, can I have a refill? My favorite Rex Moe scene. Got the Wario hat without the W. I thought it stood for words. Okay. Um, then we got Nirvana on a plant. This is I love this so much. It says, uh, it's like, out of all the American football games released in 2007 that starts with a Mada and an N08, this is the best. It's literally their way of getting away saying Madden 08 by just <laughs> separating it. I love that. Um, and then lastly, we got Jeb Farms. And this is the whole, I immediately knew that was a Skylander because don't look for it, but I do have a lot of old Skylander <laughs> videos. Um, but yeah, that's super awesome. All right. So, there's holographic cards, and the the games of mysticism come with exclusive cards, so I'm gonna get some of those. I'm, re I'm, I'm really excited to unbox that, that's gonna be really fun. Um, but yeah, we'll set those here, and uh, I'm gonna just set my pack I'm not opening somewhere else just to make sure I don't somehow accidentally open it. But, alright, second pack, alright, we're going in this blind now. This is a long video, I thought it was gonna take like two minutes. I also haven't found out- oh, I should like, get the cards all the way to the side, and then open. Uh, wow, uh, this is not opening in a nice way. Definitely not really trying to keep that one. Okay, uh, do it- do it backhand. Backhand, um. Alright. Oh, it's Spelunky! Spelunk, Scott, Spelunk. This one's funny, because this is like the one he talked about. Oh, and the thing about the other cards I got is that I literally got like numbers 15, 16, 17, and then like 35 and 36 or something like that. So that's really cool that I even got them in like an order, so that's awesome. Alright, so, let's see what it says. Um, society may have lost its virginity, but I'm here to find it. <laughs> um... So, uh, something I found interesting is that it's on the card about the stickers. This says Scott, but the one with the sticker says Scott Wozniak. So it's cool that they're like separating like the character and the card that way. So, Traverse, Cat, Traverse Cave, Scott aims to find the origins of the curse which transformed the abstinent into people. I don't know if this is from like the Donkey Kong episode. It might be, but yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, cool, this is the, we got the Pringus McDingus card. Um, the doorway. <laughs> Cause that's the scene where it's like, it's the gags I just couldn't believe my uncle died again. Rex Moe's, nice. Yep, uh, it says Pringus McDingus right there. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> Rex Moe's and Jib Jab oftentimes show up at Scott's door sometimes after Scott promises a gecko with sunglasses theme night. I, I love how I love how they just go the ways they avoid copyright. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, what number is this? Is this like still 45? What was the other one? Uh, 46. Okay, so they do like kind of give you them in order. Um, oh, nice. A meeting with K-Swiss. I literally just watched an episode with this guy, and I'm like, is that his name? I wasn't paying attention. Why are they all wet? Um, Scott meets the banker K-Swiss to discuss his money issues. The stack of what games Scott brought in doesn't help things. And Link is just like, oh man. Um, episode 150. I love how it tells you, like, the episode. So if, if you were like... Where did this where did this scene come from? When when did this happen? You can you can watch it. That's 
That's so cool. I mean, chances are if you're buying this, you're probably pretty familiar with Scott the Waz, but like, you know, it's still pretty cool. Um, oh. Critique that leak. Um, was this an ep episode? Oh, episode three. I'm like, I don't remember this one. Hang on, I'm gonna cover this better. Um, but that's because it's like one of the early ones. Um, that's a really cool design. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Critique That Leak, brought to you by Concrete Matter. There's nothing better to start your day off with concrete matter. Well, let's critique some leaks. Critique That Leak, a Scott-hosted show that pops up whenever he talks rumors and leaks throughout the whole video game industry. All right, that's awesome. Was that five cards? That was only four. Yeah, that's that, that's only four. Did I? Mi oh, there's one still inside. Okay, I was like. Hang on a second. What is going on here? Oh, it's the bath episode. Uh, oh, that uh, I love this episode. It's so short, but it's so funny. Oh, look, you didn't have to worry about the space invader soap because that's just what it looks like. Also, is that what's the X? What's the deal with the Xbox soap? I can't read it. It's not focusing. Oh, it just straight up says Xbox. They, are they allowed to do that? I guess they are. Cool. They got. They couldn't get Madden away, but they could get Xbox. Man, this bubble bath could be more comfortable. Could use some hay. <laughs> bath, Scott. Babe, Scott. Babe. This one's nice and to the point. I like this one. <laughs> it's honestly just really cool having like just these like cards that are all based on like episodes. Because I don't collect cards, but when I saw this, I'm like. Finally, a trading card thing for me. I just thought it was a really cool concept, and I, I love the packs. It's, it's so cool. All right, we, we still got three left. Man, this is exciting. Um, oh, I can show opening it. Um, but yeah, happy Christmas, everyone. I keep saying happy Christmas because I like I watched Arthur Christmas, and like everyone for some reason is saying that now, which is like fine. It's just but. Eh, oh wait, it shows the other side. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh, third party controller watch list. <laughs> like, I was like, get a load of this guy. What's this, number 23? Cool. Too small and uncomfortable for all you with hands out there. <laughs> Scott. Uh, Scott's contribution to society happens to be a new segment going over third-party controllers to keep an eye out for. You don't want one of these walking around your neighborhood. Uh, man, these are so cool. I wonder how long this took to make. Man, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, oh. Oh, this one got, like, bent a little bit. Oh, oh well. Um... By the way, uh, Scott, if you're watching, totally hit me up if you want any animations or artwork. I, I, you can look at the channel, you can see the animations, that, that's what I bring to the table. Alright, um, the big reveal. Oh, the, is this the VR Virtual Boy? I watched that episode earlier, because I've, I've just been binge watching them recently, just because of all the new stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, Scott the Woz. Oh, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Scott recreates what it must have been like to reveal a red pair of 3D gaming goggles in 1994. It must have hurt. Man, I, these cards are so cool. Like, it's so cool that they're all like different artwork. It's like an art book, but cards. So you can just like, uh, go through them and stuff. Um, oh, I was like putting these all in their like own piles. Um, which is kind of unnecessary, but like... It'll be easier to organize since they're almost already organized in their own pack. Oh, these are so cool, though. I really like these. Um, oh. <laughs> that face, just like, ugh. Being seen on TV. Toys. What is he holding urine off? <laughs> Great. Uh, hi, my name is Jake. My friends call me Todd, but my real name's Scott. <laughs> Scott sees products on TV and just wants to have them. But... Not before being on TV himself as the last customer of a closing store ever. Wait, what? Of the last con customers? The last customer of a closing store ever. Wow. And now you can find them at Macy's. Can't wait for the Scott Goes to Macy's holiday special. Ooh, this one looks good. Oh, look at the not... <laughs> 
That's actually a good- that's good art. Yo, she looks so mad. Oh, that's good. I really like that. I like how that looks. This is nice. I will turn this into a better game. Scott doesn't like this game. <laughs> Magic trick. Uh, these are- uh, that's so nice. I like how, like, there's such, like, a wholesome feel with all of these two. And it's like, I really like that. Um, alright, what was that? That was four, alright. Last pack. I know there's holographics, I hope we get one. Um, let's see here. Alright, not, but just another fan. <laughs> oh my gosh, that shirt, remember? You guys, have you guys always had, like, someone that wore, like, the blue shirt with, like, the NES controller on it? it said something like, proud to be a gamer or something? It's probably not at all what it said, but... <laughs> This is what reminds me of that. I also like this face. Are like these like the same artist? It looks kind of similar, but... Scott illustrates how some video game personalities online seem to avoid critiques of certain companies with aid of a microphone, graphic tee, and plushies. <laughs> these are all grades, the Kirby with the knife. Hang on, I want to look. I want to see if the artist is the same. Oh yeah, a lot of these are by Kevin Fagarigan. That's a cool name. Um, yeah, I think Kevin for sorry if I'm pronouncing that but wrong, Kevin Fagarigan makes a lot of, like, the most of the cards, but then there's, like, some of the others. That's so cool. I like, I like how it's, like, a group effort. That's, that's so nice. All right, two more packs, guys. Wow, this is 16 minutes long. <laughs> It's, it's Christmas Day, but, ah, dude, I, I'm, I, I can't wait to, like, look at, look at all of these again. I'll probably, like, show them all again, but just try to, uh, get, make sure the codes aren't seen. Alright, we got another pack. Alright, this one. Okay, that one's, that's probably the best one I've gotten to open without completely compromising it. I'm not gonna throw away any of the bags until I make sure that, uh... It's all good because it's like it's so cool and it's like think about it This is the only pack that says first edition on it, which is the part that's kind of ripped off, but You know, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine oh, are... <laughs> just, just, I, These are so good <laughs> just cooking lesson oh! With Thanksgiving around the corner. What am I going to do if I can't cook be thankful? um Scott uses a game to learn how to cook. Oh, Ohioan macaroni and cheese for Rex, Moe's, and Jeb Jeb. I love that episode, how it just ends with that, how they're just e they're eating, and just like, um, uh, hang on. Making, oh wait, these are the new packs I got. Okay, cool. Um, I like how at the end when he makes his food, he's like, you know, I think I'm gonna go out. There's this place called Stale Pretzels. Stale Pretzels, what do they have? I don't know. So sincere. All right, the rarest game, Sonic Two with a line, baby. We we got the Sonic. We got we got the card with a uh, nondescript characters. I want to like look. I gotta look closely at these to see like how it looks. Uh, with a line. <laughs> I guess you couldn't write Sonic Two with a line. <laughs> Uh, I love the ways it just gets away with they they avoid copyright. It's so funny to me What's the rarest game of all time? Obviously the one the only copy with a game with a line on it drawn by Scott Didn't he say he was like isn't that one of the games of mysticism is gonna be Sonic 2 with a line? I really hope so because that's so cool the one I got is the Super Nintendo one mostly because well my, well, my dad got it for me, so I didn't really have a say. But <laughs> I wanted the Super Nintendo one because I'm a Nintendo fan. The second one would be cool too, but like, that's a lot of money. But would go to charity, so there's that. Alright, ooh, aww. Oh, game collecting, the first duplicate. Alright, well... Though, that's the fun thing about trading, is that if you get duplicates, then, you know... You can trade them with people. Um, the thing is, though, that, uh, I don't know who I'm gonna trade these with. I don't have any, like, friends that are Scott the Waz fans, let alone would get these. But, I don't know, if there's a convention or something, maybe this will be, like, a thing. And, hey, I got a first edition duplicate. That's gonna earn me something. <laughs> maybe. Uh, we, we already read this. We don't, we don't need that. Alright, what else we got? 
Oh, uh, no. It's because they're, like, kind of in order. Oh, uh, no. Now they're just going. Oh, hey, hey, okay. We got, we got another one. 50. Oh, this is 51. This is the last one. Oh, uh, this is a cool art style. Who did this? Bem, Bempo. Great name. Hey, all. Scott here. Oh, that's awesome. It's like just the, it's the classic thing. Oh, that's a great card. That's a great card. You know what? As much as duplicates suck, one, it's good to night have some extras, especially if you want to trade. But also, this card, that all, that makes it worth it, honestly. I'm just so happy with, like, how these all turn out. I say that, even though it's like, it's not like they're my cards. Guys, let me know if you want, if you want trading cards with my face on them. <laughs> Uh, that would be so cool. I would love it so I, if I could ask, like, my friends to, like, draw card, draw things and then make those cards or ask people. That would be awesome. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask, uh, I'm gonna have to find out who, uh, Scout worked with. I think that it was USAopoly. It's like, come on, guys, I know I only have, like, 12,000 subscribers, but, like, come on. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh. Elusive Demonic Arcade Cabinet. I like how they can just say Polybius because it's not an actual game. That's cool. Well, luckily I was diagnosed with a little thing I like to call street smarts. Um, what's scarier than an arcade cabinet that can brainwash those who play it? An arcade cabinet that can brainwash those who play it right behind you! Ah! Um, <laughs> alright, that, okay, so that's a good card. Um, let's see what else we got. Ah. Oh. Another duplicate. The meeting with K Swiss. We already got you. All right. Uh, what else we got? Ah, uh, cooking lesson. We meet again. Met with the same tragedy once more. Um, let's see what else we got. All right, we got a new one. Got a new one. Scott got robbed. Oh, for the love of God! I was supposed to get robbed tomorrow. Um, Scott gets robbed, later finds out by the bank some of the few things that things left over included mobile games on home consoles. Thank God, I don't think I read any of that right. <laughs> oh no, not he, he was left with Angry Birds? That's not cool, man. Alright, let's see what the last card is. Ooh! Ah, oh, Midnight Releases! I love that episode. <laughs> if I run out of food rations, I have fishing maps just in case if... Just in case, if I got a fish, I got a fish. <laughs> Scott once waits in November cold for a game he doesn't even like, but at least the big the bug spray repelled any snakes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is awesome. All right, so got some duplicates, which is kind of lame. I'm more thinking now. I, 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 of course, I'm just thinking about. But what about the cards I didn't open? And maybe I'll make a video about that later, especially if I do the other, um, if I make a vi- I hope I make a video on the other stuff I'm getting, but, uh, if not, uh, I'm- I'll definitely make a video of opening that pack, cause, like, I know some people might be interested. Also, look how- look how thick this, like, it, this is. This is a lot of cards. Like, I'm not complaining at all, like- I'm like I'm to I'm totally happy with these, but you know the idea of collecting them all and then getting a video, that's a really good incentive. I'm so glad I got card 51 though. Like I'm glad that that was such a good card. Um, hang on, let me see if I can do this right. All right, so yeah, ah uh, yeah, okay. So got a lot of cool cards. Oh, I gotta put I gotta put them in order. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the duplicates for now. I don't know whether if I'm gonna put them on the end or just keep them together. I might put them on, or I might keep them together. Cause you, I've already seen your face before. But I really like the cards I got, and it's like that's a lot. That's a lot of cards. So yeah. Okay, I was hoping that would look cooler. But uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of. Uh, my stash or whatever <laughs> um i hope you have a good christmas and uh yeah happy holidays um all oh right i wanted to say something funny um so if there's anything to say about these cards um my favorite part i guess about all this is that it's blue <laughs>